Hi folks and thanks for joining me on the bench. I've got the RCA 8X541 receiver that I repaired uh, some uh, time back. Anyway, the purpose of this video is to talk about another method and procedure that one can use to do an IF alignment. And I'm going to uh, follow an article by Mr. Leonard E. Gessler back from the 1960s. He built what's called a decure circuit. You can see the capacitor here with a 1K resistor in series with it. And we're shunting the uh, IF transformers, the primary and secondary of T1 and T2, and doing the alignment. Again, the idea is to get a better uh, alignment, more of a uh, flatter top to the IF itself and also make sure that the uh, skirts themselves are narrow on each side and steep. So I'm going to go ahead and follow that process after uh, building this and then we'll play the receiver and also uh, we'll see how far out of alignment this thing is looking at the uh, automatic volume control voltage. So let's get started. I'll put a reference to uh, his article as well in the uh, video description if you guys want to check it out, follow along. Okay, you guys can see I've got the uh, receiver. It's been uh, plugged in and playing here, warming up for a good while. And I've got my uh, RF signal generator set to 455 kilohertz or very close to that. And for folks that do not have access to a uh, frequency counter, I'm going to just use my uh, receiver. And you can see if that's showing up here, I'm at 455 kilohertz. Let me cut the uh, gain up just for a moment. I'm going to rock my signal generator back and forth and listen for a zero beat. Okay, there we have it. So I'm going to just use that as my uh, reference frequency. And you can see I've got uh, things hooked up to the signal generator through a capacitor back over to the uh, stator. I've already uh, determined uh, primary and secondaries of the uh, transformer and the adjustment here for the uh, particular T1 primary for this particular transformer, the uh, primary resides to the uh, left, the uh, secondary to the right. For this particular transformer, the secondary adjustment is underneath. You guys can see the adjustment area here. So um, that's where I'll be doing my adjustment. We'll shunt the uh, primary winding, which I've done, which resides on the left side. And then we'll peak the uh, secondary again, which is the uh, bottom adjustment here, looking at the meter. Let me turn the uh, gain down on the RF signal generator. Okay, and I'm turning this just a bit, and you can see the meter, the uh, voltage going up and then back down. Let me go back to the peak point. So it's not very far off on the alignment. So about 608 or so looks like the peak, 609, somewhere in that area. All right, now let's move the uh, shunt itself from the uh, primary back to the secondary and adjust the uh, primary from the top side. All right, we'll go ahead and start adjusting the uh, primary now. Okay, it looks like I'm past my peak. Somewhere around there at negative 0.282. Let's move to the other IF transformer and uh, repeat this process. Okay, I'm on T2 and I've got the uh, primary of T2 shunted and going to uh, peak the secondary for this particular transformer. It's on the uh, top adjustment. So you can see me turning it ever so slightly. So 
So it looks about uh, 0 0.850. Okay. I think I'll leave it right there. Let me move the uh, shunt now over to the uh, secondary winding and adjust the primary. Let me just go past that one more time. Okay, somewhere around that point, I think we're aligned using this uh, process. Let me remove the uh, shunt with the power off. And uh, let's play the receiver now. Okay, that's about what I would expect to pick up here with just the loop laying here in this direction on the bench itself. So the IF alignment uh, went smoothly. Again, you can see that my initial IF alignment was just a bit off. Again, feel free to reference the video description for the uh, article from uh, Leonard Gessler. As he concluded the article, he was talking about, you know, if it's good enough for uh, Grandpa, it's good enough. Thanks again for watching, folks.